My name is Ian O'Neill, space producer for Discovery News, and what you're seeing here is the uh, very striking re-entry of the Hayabusa probe. The Hayabusa probe was a Japanese mission that was sent to an astero asteroid to pick up some asteroid dust, the first time this has ever been tried. The probe itself is actually disintegrating. It actually exploded on impact with the atmosphere and it's disintegrating and it's falling through the atmosphere. And just ahead of it is a capsule that it released a couple of hours earlier before entering the atmosphere. And inside that capsule, hopefully, there is some uh, dust that was collected from the asteroid. Now, this mission had a lot of problems. I mean, as soon as it was launched, it was hit by a record-breaking solar flare, which actually hit its um, solar panels really badly, which um, Im impacted uh, the, the power production on the probe. So actually, it was very delayed. So what should have been a five-year mission was a seven-year mission. And when it landed on the asteroid, the, um, the dust or the material collection system failed, and it's not known whether it actually was successful in getting any asteroid dust. But now the capsule came back successfully to Earth, that actually parachuted down on schedule this time. And now scientists are going to be opening that capsule and, ch and checking inside. And apparently in the next week or so, we'll know if any dust has been collected. So this is a highly successful end to a very problematic mission.